Hey there, this is Vince with Article Marketing Robot. In this video, I'm going to show you how to migrate your database away from the crappy MS Access database that I've been using for a long time over to a much more robust and stable my, uh, what is it called? SQLite database. It's uh, pretty much one of the top uh, desktop databases you can use. And um, so I built, I built in the platform and the migration tools. So it's pretty simple to do. Uh, click, click file, manage databases. Now you obviously you have to be loaded into the database that you you want to migrate. So I'm gonna click. Uh, I'm gonna load up an old access database. Those are normally .mdb files. So we'll just let that load up. Okay, it looks like we're ready. Okay, so what you do is with your access database loaded, you go back into manage databases, and then in the tools menu, you have the migrate database function. So click that, and then that'll open up a window that looks like this. <coughs> So we are going to want to convert this MDB file over to SQLite. So select SQLite and then choose Browse. This is going to select a database location. The default location is your, um, your app data folder. So you don't have to do it there. You can always select your desktop or something if you like, which is fine. I'm just going to say, uh, call it video for now. Click Save. And then you'll see it shows up in this box and now you just click do it so now the next thing that's going to happen is you're going to see some stuff going on down here the uh, data database is being migrated over to sqlite the whole reason why i use sqlite now is it's much more stable it's faster uh there's i haven't experienced any corruption issues so hopefully this doesn't happen to any of my users um, i've been searching for a good database solution for a long time too and this one doesn't require any extra installation. So my this database isn't isn't all that huge, so it'll it'll it won't take as long as like yours yours might if if you got like you know 500 articles and 30 author accounts and whatever else you'll probably take a little bit longer. So anyways, it's finished. When it's done, just click OK, and you're done. That's all you got to do. Now, also keep in mind, you can also migrate from access to access, from SQLite to SQLite, and also from SQLite to access. But I don't know why you would want to do that. Just probably going from access to SQLite would be a pretty good option. It'd be a better option than using access anyways. So anyways, that's the video. I just wanted to show you that. So if I go back into Manage Databases, you'll see that my previously used is at the top. That's that's the... Uh, the uh, SQLite database I just created, so it's, it's actually being used. Anyways, great. So that's the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Bye.